Hey, welcome back to another episode of uh, Weekend Tech. Today we're going to be looking at how to create command line apps with .NET. So uh, let's get started. Uh, we're going to be using this uh, package called command line uh, parser by uh, command line parser. And uh, it's a really uh, easy to use package to create uh, uh, command line apps with .NET. So uh, the app that we're going to build is our to do's app. Uh, it's uh, and we'll create uh, two functionalities one is going to be listing the set of to do's that we have the other one being um, creating a new to do so yeah let's get started we'll just create a new directory uh, and let's create uh, two projects one is the um, to do's app that's going to be our uh, command line uh, app and uh, let me console oh it's supposed to be dash n and uh, let's create a class library to store our uh, uh, data models so this is going to be to do's dot data so let's uh, set up our uh, data models first and we're going to store our uh, data in a sqlite database uh, that's relatively easy to use. So we'll wait for VS Code to open up. And yeah, let's rename this class to to do. And uh, here, uh, let's create uh, uh, let's create the ID to be of type good and uh, we'll have a title of the to-do and we'll also have a description and let's also add the date and time of creation so oops uh, created at and let's also add in uh, late time to tell when it was completed so completed at let's make this nullable and uh, here we'll just do a uh, uh, we'll add entity framework uh, core uh, but uh, it, it should this property won't be saved uh, this is going to be a boolean called is complete and this is going to be evaluated as uh, completed at is not null so if the completed at uh, is not null uh, that means that uh, uh, this to do is yet is not null means it's already completed so let's add our packages which is microsoft dot entity framework core and we'll also need to add our uh, sqlite provider so which is this uh, yeah that's all the packages we're going to need so we'll add the using statement for this. Oh, this is in component model, so didn't really need to install the packages first. But uh, yeah, this using statement allows you to do not mapped. Now let's add a to do context, not TypeScript. So this namespace is going to be the same. To do's dot data and public class of to do's context. Uh, so if you've seen uh, web apis uh, the pattern is you pass in a db context option options and this is generic uh, this is supposed to be of the same type as your db context and we also need to inherit from db context here so we'll have that using statement and this will be db context is it db context option no nope. options we'll first write the good now let's see here oh this is yep so the constructor is ready so now we can inject uh, so now, in essence, this file won't really know if we're using SQLite or MySQL or whatever. Whatever options uh, we pass in, it will get configured that way. So we can use it anyway. So that's the idea. But also we need our 
db set of type db set of to do and the property name is to do's so that's pretty much it for our uh, data project we can close this now let's open the command line app uh, if i do uh, if i do dot net run uh, you should get hello world for the uh, uh, template app from the template app uh, but we what we want is uh, the structure i am thinking of is like this we created our data models uh, which is used in the db context uh, this will be exposed to services uh, that operate on that db context and then uh, these services are basically the business logic that uh, will be used in any sort of uh, app so for us it's going to be a command line so a command line app it could also be a web api uh, it could be probably not a front end uh, but you could probably uh, maybe a blazer app something like that uh, yeah so that's for our architecture i'll leave that in here so we'll create a to do's uh, service and you can put this in a different project if you want but i'm going to for this for the sake of this demo i'm going to leave it here so to do's dot and just to do is fine public class to do's service and um, we'll pass it in the constructor uh, ideally uh, you should be using some sort of a dependency injection uh, but since i'm not going to do that in this project uh, we'll just uh, we'll instantiate the class by ourselves uh, also since we are referring to to do's context we need to add that as a reference dot uh, dot slash to do's dot um, data so that's done then we can do this dot to do's context equals Do's context and then this will be a using statement in the intel sense doesn't always work so let me reload the window and uh, still not working that's fine we'll just add it by ourselves to do's dot data oh it just took a second so now it's working so here mm -hmm. doesn't contain a definition yep that's correct so private read only to do's context to do's context hopefully the spellings match up yeah should be fine next uh, we'll create a function called uh, get to do's to get a list of all the to do's in an app so this is going to return to do and this is going to be get to do's async and we can directly use the uh, to do's context here so to do's context dot to do's dot uh, to list async and this will require the uh, entity framework core package right so intellisense is really screwing up here but uh, i think we're good so let's do let's create our uh, context uh, this will be new to do context of we we'll need to pass in the options that we specified there so let's create options builder and uh, yeah this is in the entity framework core package so we'll require we need to add that as well here we can do db context options builder uh, of type to do to do's context and then uh, we can do options builder dot use sql light and the connection string is going to be data source equals uh, the path to the file dear sqlite file which is this and then this should work so this also requires using statement let's just print the number of to do's we have which should be zero right now number of to do's 
to do is let's use the service and this uh, the way to get the options is options builder dot options let's create our to do service which is going to be a new to do service and obviously you should use some sort of a dependency injection and uh, you know uh, register these dependencies so that it's easier to create these objects rather than instantiating them but uh, here we need to do to do's uh, service oh so we haven't created a count method so let's do that first um this is going to be public task of does it only long get count i think to do is context dot um to do is dot uh, is it count? Mm, see if that works. I don't remember the exact method name, but let's see. To do service dot um, get count async. I'm going to give reload one more try. Mm, okay. Cool. Yeah, now it seems to be working. So it's long count async. Okay, got it. So this will be task of that. And this should have been awaited. And so we need async there. Also, we need system threading task. So, and this is capital E with uh, using the collections namespace cool so i think we're done in our service yeah let's run this and we should get an error i think regarding the data source not present or the table not present i think the table isn't there so that should give us an error uh, oh did await it and if any if, if i awaited this will become task so yeah yeah we got that we got that error that we were expecting so now uh, after creating after uh, instantiating a to do's context we can await and make sure that our uh, database is there so that's ensure created async and now this should give us uh, zero as our uh, number of to do's so that works let's comment this line or remove this line and um, yeah, so let's do, uh, we'll list the to do's first. So var to do's equals await to do's service dot get to do's async. And uh, yeah, this, let's, uh, not sure if you've used uh, AZ, the Azure CLI tool, but uh, it writes out all uh, output in JSON, which is pretty nice. So that's what I'm going to try to replicate. So let's do, we'll use the uh, system text JSON serializer dot serialize and we'll serialize this. Also we'll by default the um, JSON doesn't get uh, indented. So we'll do that also. Cool. So now we should get our to do's which is an empty array uh, in json format so that's working next let's add a service method to create a new to do uh, for that let's create a dto first so that's create to do dot cs namespace to do's dot dto public class create to do and this will have a title and this will also have a description I'm not using reference uh, nullable ref reference types here but you can obviously do that i'm just uh, going to make it a default value uh, 
and by default we'll just set is complete to false or rather we want the uh, completed at to null so let's create a new method with ret which returns a to do so this will be create to do async uh, this will take a create to do to do to create and then here what we can do is we can create to do to add and here we can do id as guid dot neguid or you can also auto generate it we need the using system so that's done title is going to be to do to create dot title and description is to do to create or description. I think the rest of the uh, properties are, uh, oh, they're not. So let's do this as date time dot UTC now, always use UTC times. And uh, let's also set this to string dot empty. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Let's await and result. So here we can do to do's context not to do's dot add async of to do to add and uh, we'll await the save changes. And um, return the created to do. So add result or entity has the to do that got created. So this also requires async. And uh, yeah, the formatter is also not working. But uh, that's our create to do. Now let's, before uh, displaying the uh, to do's, let's just add a sample to do here. So we'll do to do equals new create to do and the title oh, this requires a using statement to to use dot dto title as i don't know get groceries and we'll leave the uh, description empty here we can do add it to do is we'll await the response from the service create and we'll pass in the to do and I think I'm going to copy this line here. And this will be to do. Cool. So, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, I'll just write all to do's before we print that out. So, now if I run, uh, we should see. Uh, the to-do that got added and in the whole list we should also see all the to-dos so this got added this is an object and this all this is a list of the entire to-dos and that is um, an array so you can see is complete is false complete that is null that's why and also we're using utc times so that's our uh, command line app ready now we need to create a, a beautiful facade for it so if you let's install the package which is command line parser and i put the link to this uh, uh, to this project's github uh, in the description it will be helpful uh, right so what we can do is first of all let's co comment all of this out and what we need to do is do parser which is using command line dot default dot parse arguments and here we need to, we need to pass uh, types that describe the options that are consumed by our uh, command line app. So what I'm uh, planning to do is uh, we'll run the app like so. So to do's that to do's list should list the to do's. To do's create with uh, options like the title, uh, some sort of uh, title, I don't know, sample, and description of uh, again sample should create the to do so basically these things are called verbs and these are called the options for that verb so let's create a new folder called options 
and then we'll create the to do list uh, let's make it list to do's options uh, this is in to do's dot options public class list to do's options and uh, so if you notice to do's to do's list doesn't have any options as such so we just need the verb so we'll add the annotation on the class and this requires uh, the name of the verb and is it is it default uh, so the name of the verb is list and uh, the default it's not the default and it is that its default value is false so we don't need to do anything extra so this is fine let's copy that and we'll do create to do options so this will be create create and uh, this will require a uh, title which is an option so if you look at this uh, short name and long name so this what i showed here is short names which is sing single dash followed by one character if you want uh, in the long name it's like uh, dash dash and then the uh, name itself so here for us this is going to be uh, t and title and uh, this is also required so we'll need to send a true value there so that's our title now uh, let's create description and by default we'll just assign it string.empty and if i copy this line oops the formatter is really behaving weirdly but that's fine so this is not required but uh, the name and long name are d and the description so we have our classes ready for parsing the arguments so let's do list to do options list to do's options and also create to do options to change to this cool so once these are passed we can do uh, with parsed and we'll write so this requires us to pass in uh, one one function for each of the verb that got passed so what this means is if list is the verb that got sent this action that we send here uh, will get will be run so here uh, this type is the same so list option and if you hover over it you can see it's of the same type so here what we can do is uh, we can write our code here so this part and since we are using await this is going to be async uh, yeah cool so and oh this requires us to send the args so we need to pass that in so now if you do dot net run i didn't pass the default verb and if you see we don't have a default sent set here so it just set, it gives us the help uh, help verb which shows us uh, what all the what all verbs are available so we have list we have create we have help and version uh, so basically our verbs got registered so that's good and let's do dot net run and if you want to pass arguments it's going to be double dash space and then whatever argument you write will be passed to your program so here we'll do list that should give us a list of our to do's which it does now let's create the uh, create uh, section so with past of create to do options and then async create to do option here we can uh, create a to do i think we have the same we can use the same code so this whoops 
so the title will be uh, create to do option dot title and the description will be create to do option dot description oops cool so the to do uh, we created a dto we added the to do and then we're just uh, writing it to the console so now that means our create should work but uh, if you noticed since we've given this as required and we don't pass that argument we should get that error as well so here you can see uh, option t is required and it is missing so let's pass that in now uh, sample and this should display the added to do right away and it does uh, i think i displayed the wrong thing here hmm, yeah we should rather display the added to do which is our data model so let's create sample two and if you if you have spaces in your arguments always enclose them in single quotes uh, because that's how it tokenizes your arguments so now you see uh, we've received the entire data model itself so basically the list and uh, create to do are working uh, if you want we can also add this this uh, count as a verb uh, but you get the basic idea also if you notice if i do dot net run um you see uh, we have uh, create and list but no help text so to do that you can pass in help text here that kind of helps uh, the user of your uh, tool to understand what to do with the uh, verbs so create a new to do and this is also applicable to your uh, option so the title of the to do so now if we do dot net run we should see create having a help text here create a new to do probably make that gap and you can also do help on the uh, specific verb itself so i can do dot net run create dash dash help so it will display the help text only for that verb so here i will see the uh, help text for my uh, options in this so yeah that's basically uh, what i wanted to do in this video introduce you to command line parser as a new good package and also help you understand how to create this uh, cool console apps in dotnet so yeah that's pretty much it for the video and uh, yeah i'll put all the relevant links in the uh, description and uh, see you soon